just made a few sentences in Slovenian because I was told that there will be some Slovenian yeah, they are. here and to hear Even children. to hear a few sentences in a, so introduction introduction into the book is your writer uh, Hans Christian Andersen this is a motto to the book quotation actually which which is uh, our imaginary story is made up of reality. <laughs> this is crucial for this book. To noć sem ju video kakor da bi bila živa. Prihajala je po prehodu sredi barake med pogradi, ker so mirno dihali v snu moji tovarjiši. Ustavila se v moji posteli, nekaj časa me je zamišljeno gledala, nekako odsotno, Kako zmire, kada ni mogla spati in je blodila po mnajnem mariborskem stanovanju, postala ob okno, sedla na postelju in spet stopila, rekla, tudi ti ne more spati. Ne, prosim, Slovenija. No short fragments, also in English. I saw her that night if she were alive. She was walking down the pass passageway through the barrack between the bunks where my fellow officers were peacefully bathing in their sleep. She stopped next to my bed and stared at me sort of absently. She was uh, the way she always did when she couldn't sleep and so around, around, around our apartment in Maribor, standing first at the window, sitting down on the bed then going back to the window. What's wrong, Stevo? she said. Can't you sleep either? Her voice was quiet, deep, almost masculine, but very somehow empty like the look in her eyes. I was surprised, because I knew it. It was so distinctively hers, this voice that had vanished somewhere in the distance with the passing years. I could picture her whenever I wanted, her eyes, her hair, her lips, and yes, her body too, which had lain out of breath beside mine so many times, but I couldn't hear, hear her voice. The first thing you lose of a person you haven't seen in a long time is the voice, the sound, its color and force. I haven't seen her in a long time. How long? I thought at least seven years. I shuddered. Even so, this was the last night of May, and it was almost the end of spring, that horrible spring of 1945, and even though everything was tending towards summer, and it was warm outside, and the barrack was particularly stuffy with the warmth of so many male bodies breathing and perspiring, that thought made me shudder. Seven years. In seven long years, she had once sung, my Veronica had, in seven long years we'll meet again, she sing that Slovenian folk song that she especially liked when she gets homesick and her eyes had the empty look that had if, um, as she looked at me now. Lord only knows when seven years will end. But I look at her face in the, uh, at the, my face in the mirror and, uh, and know that nothing is left, not Veronica, not the king, not Yugoslavia, the words has gone to the pieces like the shattered mirror that shows parts of my unshaved face looking back at me. I don't have the, the will to lather and shave my face, put on my shoulder belt, pull myself together and head out for assembly. I look at this face that Veronica bent over last night and wonder how she even recognized me at all. Is this even still me, Stevan Radovanovich, Major, Commander of the 1st Division's Cavalry Squad, formerly Captain of the Drava Division, whose wife left him in Maribor and whose soldiers made fun of him behind of his back? We surrendered. What else could we do? Also, we'd been told that the English were out uh, our allies and that we'd join them in, in counter-attack on the communists. We kept our weapons for a few days, then came the order to surrender them. In other words, we shamefully let the English soldiers disarm us, so the officers were allowed to keep their side arms, but no bullets. 
and then a few days later they took away even those. Our last vestige of dignity, we are no longer an army, this is the end. Finnish Kingdom of Yugoslavia, the end of the world. This is the beginning, first sentences of the...